Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing about equations of motion. Now we have learned about a few physical quantities in the previous videos like distance and displacement, time, speed and velocity and acceleration. We have discussed in detail about all these physical quantities in the previous videos. Now all these physical quantities are related to each other, they are linked to each other in a certain way or in many ways we can say. Now these relations between these physical quantities are known as equations of motion. Now equations of motion is a set of equations which relate all these physical quantities that we will be learning in this video. Now we will be considering only one kind of motion whenever we are talking about equations of motion in this particular module that is an object moving in a straight road with a uniform acceleration. So we will be considering only this kind of motion throughout this module that is the object will be moving in a straight road only with a uniform acceleration and nothing other than this. So whenever an object is moving in a straight road with a uniform acceleration there is no difference between the terms distance and displacement since the body is already moving in a straight road and also there is no difference between the terms speed and velocity. So these terms may be interchangeably used in this module at some point of time that is distance or displacement can be used interchangeably and also speed and velocity can also be used interchangeably. So don't get confused. Uh, this is just because the object is moving in a straight road with uniform acceleration. Now, let us uh, learn some notations that we will be using in these equations of motion. We will be denoting these physical quantities by some notations or some symbols that we need to bear in mind if we don't want to get confused by seeing the equations of motion. So distance or displacement is given by the letter S here and the time is given by the letter T and the acceleration is similarly denoted as letter A, small a and the speed or velocity is denoted by U or V. Now U here denotes the initial velocity of the body, the velocity that it initially had and V denotes the final velocity of the body. Now all these symbols we are going to use when uh, we denote these physical quantities in the equations of motion. So let us see what these equations of motion are. So our first equation of motion is V equals U plus AT. The second equation of motion is S equals UT plus half AT squared. And the third equation of motion is 2as equals v squared minus u squared. Now the first equation of motion is basically a relation between the velocity and time of the body. So it is otherwise called as velocity time relation. Similarly, the second equation of motion is uh, basically a relation between the position and time of the body. That is why it is known as position time relation. And in the same way, this third equation of motion is a relation between position and velocity. So it is called position velocity relation. So these are all these three equations of motion where the notations that we have seen uh, just a few minutes before are used in terms of the physical quantities. Now in the next few videos, we will be talking about all these three equations of motion in detail and also we will be deriving each of them from the graphs and we will be using all these three equations of motion to solve different problems in motion. So stay tuned and keep watching. Thank you. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.